Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about callable bonds. And so sometimes when bonds are issued, the issuer of the bond will give a range of dates where the bond can be redeemed. And so essentially when a callable bond is purchased, the issuer and the purchaser do not know when the bond will be redeemed, but they agree upon a set of dates where it could be redeemed. And this type of bond is referred to as a callable bond because it can be called or redeemed for a range of possible redemption dates. The actual date of redemption is chosen at a later time. And so when calculating the price of a callable bond, it is best to choose the price that is most beneficial for the buyer. And so what that means is that you wanna choose the price that is the lowest or the cheapest. And so in order to determine when to call the bond or when to calculate its price, all you need to know is this table right here. And so what this table tells us is that if our callable bond is going to be sold at a premium, meaning that the price will be greater than the face value, which means that the coupon rate is greater than the yield rate, then you want to calculate the price of that callable bond at the earliest date possible, right? So for callable bonds, they can be redeemed for a range of dates. And so whatever the earliest possible date is that it can be redeemed, that is where you want to calculate the price if your bond is going to be sold at a premium. If the bond is going to be sold at a discount, meaning that the coupon rate is less than the yield rate or that the price would be less than the face value, then you would wanna calculate its price at the latest date possible, right? The last moment in time that you could redeem it for that range of dates where the bond is callable. And so this table is really all you need to know about callable bonds. And so with that, let's look at an example problem where we will see how to calculate the price of a callable bond and why this table is true. All right, so here's our example problem. We have that a 10 year 1000 par value bond with 10% semi-annual coupons is callable on any coupon date after the first six years. If the yield rate is 8% convertible semi-annually, calculate the price of the bond. And so what we're going to do here is calculate a whole bunch of different prices so that you can see why the table we looked at earlier was true. And so I'm going to have that table right here for us to refer back to as we work through calculating different prices for this callable bond. Right, and so the first thing I'm going to do here is write down our formula for calculating the price of a bond, and then we'll figure out all our different components for the bond in this problem. And then we will talk about calculating its different prices based on when the bond is redeemed. And so we know that the price of a bond is equal to the face value times the coupon rate times the present value of an annuity immediate. So we're gonna have A and then N bracket J, where N is the number of coupon periods and J is the yield rate. And then we will add that to the redemption value times the present value factor to the power of N using that yield rate, J. All right, and so for this bond in this problem, we know that it has a par value of 1,000. And so we know that the face value is going to be equal to 1,000, but we also know that that's going to be equal to the redemption value because the problem doesn't say anything about the redemption value. And so we can assume that the face value and the redemption value are the same. And so we have that F is equal to C, which is equal to 1,000. All right, and then we have that this bond is a 10 year bond. And so remember, coupons are paid semi-annually, which means if we are going to count the number of coupons paid or the number of coupon periods, we need to multiply the number of years by two, and that will tell us how many semi-annual periods there are for this bond. And so N will be equal to 10 times two, which is equal to 20. And so now there's something else that we wanna make a note of here, and that is that this bond is callable on any coupon date after the first six years. And so that is a number that we wanna make a note of as well. That's going to be a different value of N, specifically when the bond is callable or when it can be redeemed. And so since it becomes callable after the first six years, if we multiply that number of years by two, we can see after what coupon date the bond is callable for. And so six times two is 12. And so we know that the bond is callable at N equals 12. Okay, so that's when it's callable, but N equals 20 is the total amount of coupon dates or the total amount of coupons that would be paid for this bond. 
And so I'll just write that. We'll have that n is equal to 20, and that is the total amount of coupon dates. All right, and so then we know that the bond has 10% semi-annual coupons, and so remember that that percentage is assumed to be a nominal annual interest rate, and it is convertible semi-annually, and so in order to get the effective semi-annual rate, or the coupon rate for this scenario, we will need to divide that 10% by two to get the actual coupon rate. All right, and so in this case, that means that R, the coupon rate, is equal to 0.2. 10, right, that's 10% in decimal form, divided by 2, and that is equal to 0.05. All right, and then the last thing that we know is that the yield rate is 8% convertible semi-annually, and so that is also a nominal rate that we need to divide by 2, and so J is equal to 0.08 divided by 2, which is equal to 0.04. Okay, and so note that our coupon rate is 0.05 and our yield rate is 0.04, and so the coupon rate is greater than the yield rate, and so that tells us that this bond will be purchased at a premium, right, because R is greater than J. And so that's telling us that we wanna calculate the price of this bond at the earliest date in order to get the best possible price or the lowest price for this callable bond, but we're actually going to calculate it at both dates the earliest and the latest date, so that you can see that it is true that the price will be less at the earlier date for this premium bond. Okay, and so let's calculate the price here. Let's start by calculating it at the earliest date, and so we are going to calculate the price of the bond when n is equal to 12, right? That is when the bond becomes callable after the first six years, or those first 12 coupon dates. And so when n is equal to 12, the price will be equal to the face value of 1,000 times a coupon rate of 0.05 times A, where N is equal to 12, bracket the yield rate 0.04 plus the redemption value 1,000 times the present value factor to the power of N, which is 12, using that yield rate of 0.04. Okay, and so then this would be equal to 1,000 times 0.05, which will be 50, times the formula for this notation, which is one minus the present value factor to the power of 12 divided by 0 0.04 plus 1,000 times this present value factor, which will be one divided by 1.04 to the power of 12. Right, so the present value factor is just equal to one divided by one plus the interest rate to the power of whatever the power of the present value factor is. And so in this case, that is one divided by 1.04 to the power of 12. And that would be the same expression that this present value factor would be equal to. And so then if we plugged all of this into our calculator, we would find that the price is equal to $1,093.85. That is going to be the price at the earliest date for this callable bond. However, watch what happens if instead of calculating the price at the earliest date, we calculated it at the latest date or using n equals 20, right? In this calculation, we calculated the price immediately when the bond was callable, right at n equals 12. But what if we waited until the last coupon date when n is equal to 20 to calculate the price? Well, when n is equal to 20, we will have the same exact equation, except instead of using 12 as n, we will be using 20. And so we'll have that the price is equal to 1,000 times 0 0.05 times a 20 bracket 0 0.04 plus 1,000 times v to the power of 20 using the yield rate 0 0.04. Okay, and so then we could calculate this in our calculator. It would actually be the same as this calculation right here, except each of these 12s would become 20. And so if we plug that into our calculator, you will find that the price would be equal to $1,135.90. And so this is the price of the callable bond when we calculate it at the latest date. And you can see that this is greater than the price when we calculated it at the earliest date. And so now you can see that this row of our table is true. When your bond is going to be bought at a premium, meaning that the coupon rate is greater than the yield rate, then you want to calculate its price at the earliest date, and that will ensure that the price of that bond is the lowest it can be. 
right, this price is much lower than this price. And so now from here on out, when you have a cowable bond that is going to be bought at a premium, you know that you can just calculate its price at the earliest date and that will give you the lowest price possible for that bond, which is what you are going to want to find. All right, so now that we have looked at a bond that was bought at a premium, let's look at a bond that is bought at a discount. And so what we're going to do is change the yield rate for this problem, right? Currently, we have a yield rate of 8% convertible semi-annually, and that comes out to an actual yield rate of 0.04, and that is less than our coupon rate, but what if it was greater than our coupon rate, right? What if we changed it, instead of being 8% convertible semi-annually, it was 12% convertible semi-annually. Then we would have a yield rate of 0.06, which is greater than the coupon rate, and so we now have a bond that would be purchased at a discount because the coupon rate is less than the yield rate. And so now the table is telling us to calculate the price at the latest date, but let's see if that is true. Okay, and so if we clean up our work here, let's first calculate the price of this bond when n is equal to 12. And so we will have that the price is equal to 1000 times the coupon rate 0 0.05 times a 12 bracket 0 0.06, right? That is the new yield rate. It's not 0 0.04 anymore. We're using 0 0.06. And then we will add that to 1000 times the present value factor to the power of 12 using that new yield rate 0 0.06. Okay, and so then you could write out what this notation is equal to and this present value factor. But if you were to plug all of this in your calculator, you would find that the price when n is equal to 12 would be equal to $916.16, right? That will be the price of the bond that is going to be purchased at a discount when calculated at the moment that the bond becomes callable. Okay, but let's compare that to the price if we waited until the last date, right? What would be the price when n is equal to 20? Well, in that case, the price would be equal to 1,000 times 0 0.05 times a 20 bracket 0 0.06 plus 1,000 times the present value factor to the power of 20 using that yield rate of 0 0.06. And if you plug that into your calculator, you would find that that is equal to $885.30. And so that would be the price of this bond when n is equal to 20. And so comparing these two prices, you can see that the price calculated at the later date, n equals 20, is less than the price calculated at n equals 12, right? 885 is less than 916. And so now you can see that this row of our table is also true. When you have a bond that is going to be purchased at a discount because the coupon rate is less than the yield rate, then you want to calculate the price at the latest date and that will give you the lowest possible price, which is what you want to find. All right, and so in conclusion, this table right here is really all you need to know about callable bonds. You just have to pay attention to your coupon rate and your yield rate, and that will help you determine whether your bond is being purchased at a premium or a discount, and that will tell you which of these dates you want to use in order to calculate the price of that bond so that the price is a minimum. Okay, and so then one quick side note, you might be wondering, well, what if the coupon rate was equal to the yield rate? What would happen then? Well, if that was the case, then your bond would be purchased at par value. And so at that point, it's not going to matter because no matter when you purchase the bond, it is going to cost the same amount as the face value or redemption value. And so in that case, you could calculate the price at the earliest date or the latest date, it doesn't matter, you will get the same price for that bond because you're buying it at par value. Okay, and so with that, that is all I had for this lesson on callable bonds. If you wanna see some more example problems, feel free to check out our examples video. They'll have linked at the end of this video as well as in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments, but if you don't have any questions, this is all I had for now, so I will see you next time.